Welcome to the Science Asylum. I am Nick Lucid. What if I told you that everything in optics is actually the same thing? No, seriously, all of it. Reflection, refraction, diffraction, dispersion, polarization, fluorescence, phosphorescence, all the same. I'd say you were crazy. Ha! Everybody just hear me out. First of all, what is optics anyway? Optics is the study of how light interacts with matter. Without an interaction with matter, it's just electromagnetic theory. So let's say you shine some light at a glass surface. Most of the light will pass through. That's refraction. But some of the light will bounce off. That's reflection. That looks like two different things to me. Sure, when all you do is stare at it. The law of refraction is usually written something like this. These are called refractive indexes, which depend only on the material. A bigger change in N means a bigger deflection in the light. But what happens when you apply it to reflection instead? The ends are the same, so they cancel, and now so do the signs, leaving you with this, which is just the law of reflection. They're the same! Oh yeah? What about diffraction, smarty pants? Oh, oh, that one's really fun! Diffraction happens when light spreads out after passing through small openings. So it's all about spacing. A double slit like this has a spacing of about 0.7 millimeters or 700 micrometers. Even smaller, a diffraction grating like this has a spacing of 1.7 micrometers. But let's stick with the glass surface from earlier. Yeah, and how small is that spacing? Atomically small! A Dr. Nati Sharma actually handled this quite well in a paper from 2003. To make some sense of it, let's look back at that glass surface. Super zoom! These are two atoms that happen to be next to each other. The light comes in and hits the atom on the left first. The one on the right has to play a little catch up, which puts it behind by this much. Then they each pass through, but now the one on the left has to play catch up, which puts that one behind by this much. See, light is a wave, and for it to exist, its parts have to line up at least a little bit. If opposite parts line up, then there's no light. That's called destructive interference. If they line up perfectly, then you get the brightest light. That's called constructive interference. The space here is called the optical path difference. That difference needs to be a whole number of wavelengths, so the wave lines up and you get light. The same thing has to happen with these two parts. The left one is off by this much, and the right one by this much. So the difference between them must be a whole number of wavelengths. Doing a little trig, we get this. Light will go everywhere that m equals 0, 1, 2, and so on, because that's where constructive interference happens. Most of the light will go where m equals 0, but what happens there? The D cancels out, and we can move some things around, which is just the law of refraction. In other words, refraction is just a kind of diffraction. Okay, I'll bite. Why is it all turning out this way? Glad you finally asked. If we look at this from an atomic level, in every case, light is absorbed by electrons in atoms and then released again. We call this scattering. The only difference is how it's released. Reflection is backward. Refraction is forward. Diffraction is forward, an example of which is refraction, or even backward, an example of which is reflection. Dispersion is just refractions for different wavelengths or colors, which gives us things like rainbows. Polarization is just refraction through a material that can only respond in one direction. Fluorescence is just when light is released at different wavelengths than it entered. And phosphorescence is when light is released more slowly than it entered. In the end, all optics is just the scattering of light. So how much is your mind blown right now? Please share in the comments. And until next time, remember, it's okay to be a little crazy.